Here's another batch of candid color movie clips made during the filming of the World War II documentary about the B-17F Memphis Bell. If some events have been seen elsewhere, that is probably due to the large number of Bell & Howell 16mm movie cameras used by professionals and given to some airmen to document the world of 8th Air Force Flying Fortress crews in 1943. An Army Air Forces officer holds a BBC microphone as he interviews the crew. It's great to see an RAF Spitfire pull up alongside the bell. That pup in the nose of the Memphis Bell is Stuka, a Scottish terrier acquired by crew member Jim Verinus in London. Stuka made the trip back to the U.S. with the crew. Bomb handlers move ordnance from an open-air bomb dump to the flight line.
when visitors come calling on the Memphis Belle and her crew, strategic bombardment leaders Ira Aker and Carl Spatz can be seen on camera. Looks like King George VI paid another visit, exiting from a B-17 with a North Africa-style yellow surround to the U.S. star insignia. Details of the whirlwind publicity surrounding the Memphis Belle were researched and compiled by Harry Friedman and Graham Simons in the monumental book Memphis Belle, Dispelling the Myths. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. We know how it is. Most YouTube viewers watch many more channels than they subscribe to. But your subscription helps us as we endeavor to put our content in front of an ever larger audience. Please subscribe to Air Rail Images now. It only takes a moment and it helps us a lot as we near the threshold of 100,000 subscribers. Thanks. <laughs>